Hello my friends and thank you so much for joining me. Today we create an art journal page as a guest design project for all and create. All stamps and stencils used can be found through the links in the description box below. So as you can see we start off in my big dilutions journal with dilution spray inks in pure sunshine, rose quartz, bubblegum pink, pink flamingo, cherry pie and seedless preserves. I spray with water followed by the spray inks from the lightest color to the darkest and when my page is filled with ink I put a piece of cardstock over and transfer some of the ink so I get two backgrounds in one go. Finally I add some extra ink and let the background dry completely. Next I have two stencils, one called Lots of Stars, number 126, and title, number 137. I also have this spray bottle with water and shimmering perfect pearl powder mixed in. I mask off around the stencil to avoid harsh lines where the stencil ends. I spray the shimmering water through the stencil and let the water react with the ink and when I dry my page the pattern becomes more visible and I do that randomly over my background. When my background is dry and I have that faint shimmering pattern, I bring out the other stencil and dilution spray ink in crushed grapes and I mask off and spray my ink and end up with a lot of purple stars. My art journal is quite thick now and sometimes blocks your view of the whole page, but bear with me until the close-ups in the end. Next I bring out a stamp set called Have a Hoot number 658 by Janet Klein and I stamp the owls in Versafine onyx black ink. To accompany our flying friends I have a stamp set called Breathe In Breathe Out number 575 and On Cloud 9 number 577 both by Janet Klein and I stamp only the trees in the two stamp sets the same way as before. So let's color this owl, his friends and the trees with my SIG clean color brush markers. I start with one yellow and one orange marker and color in his beak and feet. For his flower eye I use three pink markers starting with a pale pink adding dimension with the darker pink markers and blend out with the lightest pink again. I use three shades of turquoise for his body, going light to dark and back again. And for his tummy and wings, I use three shades of purple. For his eyes, I use both the trio of turquoise from before and the trio of purples. For the next owl I use another trio of blue, more a denim blue kind and I color like before, light to dark and back to light again. I use the turquoise trio for the wings and for the edges of the wings as well as the tail feathers I use three shades of green. For the heart on her tummy and the flower petal eyes I use the same pinks as I did in the beginning and for the inner eyes I use turquoise and green. I am back with the denim blue shades for the top feathers on this owl and for the wings I use the turquoise trio. For the body I use the denim blue markers again and then I go for the three green markers for the tummy and the flower eyes.
For the different kinds of trees, I use two trios of green and alternate between them throughout the coloring. As you probably noticed, I am back as a guest designer for All and Create, but this time I will do fewer projects so I can get a better balance in life and on this channel. But whatever brand I use, I hope you know how happy I am to have you here and how thankful I am for your support. So, I have this pink piece of cardstock from that other background we did and I choose a sentiment that says be who you are. And I also have this purple tinsel embossing powder from Ranger and I stamp in embossing ink, cover with that purple embossing powder and melt the powder with my heat tool. To stop that pink sentiment strip from blending into the pink background, I glue the pink strip onto black cardstock and trim it down so the sentiment has a thin black frame. To house many big birds, I drew a few branches and colored them brown and I glue them on to our background. Next, I cut up my trees so the top of the trees can be leaves hanging on the branches instead and I glue my tree leaves coming out from the branches. You can see to my left that I have an enormous amount of feathered friends and to start I put foam tape behind one of them and glue it down sitting on a branch. The rest of the birds are glued down flat, standing on branches, sitting on branches and peeking out from the sides and from behind each other. Once again I apologize for the thick journal blocking the view at the top and sometimes at the bottom of the page, but soon you will see the whole page and this journal is almost finished. The last thing I do is to put foam tape behind our sentiment and glue it down on the page. And now this all and create mixed media art journal page is finished. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Until the next time, happy crafting. <laughs>